it's Donna with Resale Tips and Tales, and I'm here today with my daughter, Lily. Hi. Who is off from school because it's snowing outside in March, which is just crazy. So I have her today as my assistant, and she's going to help me with our favorite video of the week, our favorite sales on eBay from last week. So we'll go ahead and get started. All right, the first section I want to talk about was some clothing. Um, I did get rid of some of my old inventory, um, so make sure you watch my video about getting rid of your old inventory. Um, but the first item here, <laughs> she's going to be my Vanna White. <laughs> the first item here is a Burberry men's blazer. Um, so I've been watching some videos on men's blazers, and I tried to experiment with these a few years ago. Um, I didn't have a lot of success with them, but because of the Burberry brand, I think that's why this one's old. Um, but I have had this one for a while. I've had it since 2016. Um, but it did sell for $35, so I did still make some profit on this one. And I paid $12.60 for it for quite a bit, but at least I made my money back. Um, this next item here <laughs> is uh, it's by a brand named Newport, um, but it's got motorcycle theme on it, polo shirt. So, and I'm pretty sure it was brand new with tags. Um, I only paid $1.98 for this, and it just sold for $14.99, and I've had that since last summer, so that was one of my order items as well. Um, this next item, Vanna. <laughs> is a uh, 76ers jersey um, this one I only paid $1.75 for and it sold for $16.99 now again last year I did some experiments with uh, athletic jerseys and I found out that the ones that have the stitched raised letters do much better and this one did not this one had just the screen print letters on it so that's why I sat on it for so long um, okay this next one I like this one and I'm surprised it took so long to sell honestly it's a company called Nat Nast, N-A-T-N-A-S-T, and it's a silk shirt, and it kind of looks like a bowling shirt, like they're a bowling team. <laughs> um, but many of you that might have watched uh, Two and a Half Men, the uh, TV show, when it had Charlie Sheen on it, and he wore these shirts all the time, and I'm pretty sure he wore this brand, so that's what made this brand popular. And I had seen some videos on YouTube about these, so I tried this one out. It's the only one I've ever seen but it sat for a long time. Um, I did only pay $1.98 for it, so no big loss, but I sold it for $25. And I've had that one since 2016, so two years on that one as well, so quite a while. Um, this next one I just purchased actually in February. Damn. And this is a Banana Republic. It was a merino wool um, sweater. <clears throat> and I only paid $1.50 for this one. And it sold for $15. So that was a great sale. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> this next shirt is by the company Brooks. They are known for their running shoes. Um, but this was a t-shirt, so that's what caught my eye. And it's a pink running type shirt. It has a really pretty heart on the front of it. Um, but it's that dry material so that it wicks away your sweat. Um, and this one I paid a little bit much for it. It was $4.79 and I sold it for $16.99. So after all the fees, I at least made my money back and maybe a little bit of profit. All right, some of you may notice this one. This is a Tommy Vintage Hilfiger t-shirt. Um, it's yellow, but what was neat, it had some raised embroidery on the front where the lines are. Um, so I thought I would get a nice penny for this. And I only paid $2.50 for it. And this one sold for $24.99. Wow. I had gotten a bunch of low offers on this shirt, but the Vintage Tommy sells really well. So I knew if I sat still on it, that I would sell it eventually. And it really only took about a month to sell. So I'm glad that I waited. And that was a full price. Nobody gave me an offer on that one. All right. This next item I have had since the fall, so not too long. Um, but as you know, this is my favorite brand, Ralph Lauren. Um, this is a purple plaid. So, of course, purple, my favorite color. <laughs> so it jumped out on the shelf at me. Um, but it was a really pretty. Yarmouth is the, the type that they make. Um, I only paid $4.99 for this, and I sold it for $19. So those are always good, good sellers. All right. This other shirt here. <laughs> Some of you may be familiar with this brand. It's Robert Graham. A few years back, I had found a men's long sleeve dress shirt on these. They're very noticeable when you're looking through the rack of clothes because the cuff on the sleeves are usually very decorative and they're a different pattern than what the shirt is. Um, and I sold the one that I had found a few years ago for about $60. So it was a really good sale. So this was the only other Robert Graham that I have seen in the last couple of years. It was a polo shirt. So it was, and again, you can see the different designs on it. It's blue and orange. So it stood out to me. I paid a little too much for this one, I think. I paid $15 for it. 
not knowing what it would sell for. And I did sell it for $30. Um, so I didn't make a huge profit on it, but it did make a little bit of a profit. So it was still worth it. And that was on a best offer. I think I had it listed for 50, but I had it sitting for a couple months. So I decided to go ahead since I had so much money tied up in it to go ahead and sell it. See, and that you would you would only get a little more than $15 back. Right, yeah, it was just worth it to kind of get that money. I can go buy some more inventory. <laughs> and then the last um, clothing item that I have here this is actually a David's Bridal um, red dress, um, and this item I obtained through consignment. So if anybody's wondering about consignment, I should probably do a video on this. However, I was selling this for a friend, so I'm not doing any type of money split. I'm just giving her all the profit. Um, this was her daughter. is one of her dresses from high school um, that she's trying to get rid of. <laughs> um, so I didn't pay anything for this. Um, and let's see, it sold for $28. So she'll get all of that after the taxes and the fees um, and the shipping costs. And the buyer actually paid the shipping too. So I think she still walks away with about $25. So she'll good. still get some good money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Consignment's a great way. If you're running out of inventory, um, if you can work out consignment, I really only do it for friends. Um, I do have some ladies that I used to work with and I would do like a 30, 70% where they would get 70%, I would get 30%. Um, but again, that's after all of the fees, any type of shipping costs, you know, my time taken out of it, and then they would get the remaining amount, 70% of it. So it's another good way if you're trying to source or having a hard time finding inventory. Okay, I have a couple bags that I sold last week, so we'll look at those. The first one here. <laughs> <laughs> is um, Pandora Charm tote bag. Some of you may have seen my video where I just purchased this. There weren't any on eBay. I couldn't find any of them even on Google search, um, but they mainly make the bracelets with the charms that hang off of them. Mm -hmm. So this was really decorative and really pretty, so I thought I would pick it up. And the price was a steal. I only paid $1.29 for it. <laughs> so worst case scenario, I wouldn't sell it, um, but somebody was interested at $15. And we did kind of a best offer back and forth on it. She started at 10 and I'm like, eh, it's a little too low. So we ended up at the 15, so made a good profit on that. All right, this next purse. Um, <laughs> come on, Vanna White. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this next purse is a fossil leather purse, um, and I have had this purse since 2017, last summer, so not too long, um, but it did have some dirt and a little bit of damage on it, so I sat on this for a little bit. I paid $4.99 for it, and it sold for $19. So nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents. Don't forget the change, right? <laughs> so technically twenty ish. Close to twenty dollars. Like yes. a penny off. <laughs> yeah. So I'm glad to get that out of my inventory. All right, this one I also purchased recently. This is a Lily Bloom, and it had, <laughs> for Lily, uh, <laughs> I should have had you do this one. Um, this one has coffee prints all over it, uh, so that's what caught my eye about it. Some of the Lily Bloom purses sell well, and some of them don't. I think it just depends on how unique they are and the style of the purse, of course. Um, but this I paid $4 for, and I sold it for $24.99, so that was a full price. There was no offers on that. Wow, I'm expensive. You are expensive, and you do like coffee <laughs> once in a while. I don't let her drink it all the time. I think it grows hair on your chest, I hear. <laughs> All right, it had some lattes on there too. That's more our style. Ooh, latte. <laughs> All right, and then uh, to close up, I do have a couple shoes I wanted to share with you. Um, this pair of shoes here is by a brand called, I don't know how to pronounce it, Hoka Hoka H O K A 1 1. It's spelled out, one one. <laughs> so um, this is a good brand. I've sold these in the past. Um, this one I have sat on for just a few months. I bought it back in November. Um, I paid $8.49 for it, so a little bit more than I normally pay, but I knew that I would eventually sell them. And these I got $25 on a best offer. So. That's pretty good. Yeah. Um, they're kind of funky looking. They're really thick bottoms. <laughs> so I'm not, I guess they're walking shoes, maybe fitness shoes. I wouldn't run in them. Um, but they're pretty noticeable on the shelves because of how bot how big the bottoms are. All right, and then the last pair I wanted to share with you guys for today is a brand called Aravon. Again, this was a new brand for me, but they were brand new uh, at the store. Um, you spell it A-R-A-V-O-N, and they're a black leather slip-on. They almost look like a comfort shoe, and comfort shoes sell really well online. Um, they only paid $2.50 for these, and they sold for a full price at $39.99. Wow. And I shipped them to Canada. So thank you again, Canada. I don't know. <laughs> eBay must really be promoting me in Canada because I sold something last week to Canada and I sold two items a week before that to Canada. So thank you, Canada. Um, I think that's all I have for today. Uh, make sure you comment below with what you sold this week or if you have any questions about some of the items that I sold. Um, also make sure you like the video and also subscribe so you can see all of my upcoming videos as well. Thank you, Lily, for being my assistant today. And try to check out my channel, Lil Sweet Shop.
There you go, her little plug. All right, guys, get on out there. Happy thrifting. Bye. Bye.